Good morning, evening, afternoon, night, whenever you are watching this. Hope y'all are having a great day. Um, I'm having a good day, although it's not really a fun thing this morning we have to do. I have to go to court to answer for some illegal things that Troy and I did. We're out having a little bit of fun in the McLarens and uh, chances are if you're out with friends in a vehicle and you're having fun, what you're doing is illegal. Sad but true. Anyway, I don't want to get there late. Let's go. so many cops sit here along this route because they know people speed because the speed limit could realistically be 75 or even 80 or 85 and that would be totally fine uh, but it is in fact 65 and in many places 55. My cruise control set at a safe 72 in a 65 zone. I should be okay. I've had many people go flying by me I'm obeying the rules. It's very painful, but the good news is I'm getting the best gas mileage I think I've ever gotten on any trip. Yup, speeding. Slow that right back down. I don't know if this is right. These are like all houses. That's a laundromat, uh, but all the cop cars are parked over there. You can see them. And that sign says reserved parking Juniata County Administrator. So I think it's that building there, the red one. I don't fucking know. Either way, wish me luck, I'm going in there. Many unbearable hours later. It went okay, I still have my license and uh, it won't be a bicycle speed 717 at least for now. The judge was a very nice older woman and, but you could tell she's never driven over 55. She was like, you're lucky we're not scraping you up off the road. I was doing 90. 90 on a sunny day, clear conditions in a 65 zone. I, I would hardly call that insane. You know, looking back at that day too, I just can't understand like why he even rode us for that in the first place. Yeah, the cop was not having a good time, buddy. That's for sure. The cop was not having a good time. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Troy. I love you, buddy. above uh, 4,000 in when it's just sitting. Just gotta put it in sport mode. Say, Who knew? Buddy, your banners look great up there. Yeah, what do you think? Dude, I'm very excited. Look at that. Got another Corsa Extreme installed. Shane's installing exhaust now on this uh, C6 or C7R edition. Yeah, this is the... Look at that. So the C7R edition, I'll give him a quick run through. Yeah. You got your Jake logo, center caps. You got your yellow band on the wheel. 
and you will have the Jake logo in the hood stinger. And you get the yellow stitching on the competition seats, shifter, and wheel. I don't think that yellow band is uh, factory. Carbon, carbon dash. Well, that's an option on every vet you can get. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, and you get the custom sill. That's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen one in person. Very cool C7R edition and the Viper ACR looking badass. So is that a photo corner now? Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you see that picture? Yeah. On your Instagram. Yeah. It's badass, dude. Hey, Curtis. Come on, man. Love you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Now, the Viper ACR was also dethroned on VIR by the new ZR1. That's right, baby. Uh, so the order goes 2019 Corvette ZR1, 4GT, Viper ACR. But the important thing to note is that each one, the top three times at VIR, are all American cars. Nothing wrong with an ACR. Such a badass vehicle. I should have bought one because it would have been a good investment. Got a full house today. This is a brand new ZL1 1LE. Same owner as the Viper ACR DHR Street Speed. You can see all the parts here. Where's the Wang at? This car is receiving a full wrap, which if you want to see it, check out Shane's YouTube channel and uh, he will reveal it on there. That is nice. That is nice. A oh, ZL1 yeah. 1LE. You got some badass cars in the shop today, man. It's a brand new 1LE, C7R, ACR, of course my car. <laughs> Might be the coolest one, you know what I mean? Yeah, Sorry, you got the doors that go up. I do have a confession for you guys. I have been driving around not using protection on <laughs> large parts of the car. So Shane is finally doing the mirrors. My carbon, my beautiful carbon mirrors have been exposed for all this time. And uh, also because the fender was repainted, there was a minor paint issue over here when I first got the car, which you couldn't even see it, but McLaren wanted it perfect. So they took off the X-Bell, so that's getting redone, and the headlights. So uh, then the McLaren will be safe. Thanks, Pat. Shane is doing his own custom cut X-Bell for the mirrors, and uh, it's so fucking hard because they are so rounded on the McLaren, and it's coming out pretty good. Since I'm at Inshane Designs, I also wanted to talk about Motorama real quick with my buddy here. Hey buddy. And we have a space set up at Inshane Designs, the tent. And uh, what cars do we have right now? Well, we had a little hiccup with Motorama, so we're trying to, uh, as of right now, we will have your vet, your the truck. The vet and the truck, for sure. Always McLaren. Yep. The Viper, the 1LE, and hopefully the, the C7R edition. C7R. Yeah. So either way, we're going to have a lot of cool cars there. It's going to be awesome. Info down below. And like you said, pretty sure, well, the truck and the vet for sure, because I feel like you guys are, you'd rather see the vet in the truck. There's more stuff done to it. Um, so the McLaren might sit this one out, which is okay, but it's going to be quite the lineup. Right. You used, everybody saw it last week. So yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't make the cut. And you got Troy's uh, if it McLaren does, yeah, there. We might. I mean, yeah. If we have, sp if they have the space, I'll bring it too. Yeah. But might just be the vet in the truck, like last year. Yeah, we're gonna try, man. Try to get. We had a long list, and somehow we had a long list of a lot of cars. And uh, the event is getting bigger every year. They sold out of spots. Uh, we had too many. We wanted too many spots for our cars, which we were talking to them way before. So it just kind of got lost in translation. It was a big, yeah. everybody's big busy. mess. That's what yeah, everybody gets so busy. But yeah. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll yep. make it work. Back at home now, and although court was a bummer this morning, you know, terrible way to wake up, at least we got some good stuff done, like expelling the McLaren finally, and, uh, you know, that puts my mind at ease. We didn't go to the dyno this morning either. Unfortunately, the court date, well, the time got moved back a little bit, and it took longer than I had expected, so we didn't get the McLaren down to RPM to put her on the rollers, but we will soon this week coming up. 
and I have something really, really cool to announce. The new wheels and tires for the truck are here early. They are in at Dirty Diesels up in Reading, so tomorrow morning we will go there. I can't wait to show you guys these fucking wheels. They are awesome looking and they are massive. We can place bets on how long it takes me to get pulled over. I figure we end with a small mail time. I've had these two boxes sitting here for a while. Let's open this one and it is from Michael from West Virginia. We are located about three and a half hours from you. We have plenty of dune buggies, four wheel drive, ATVs and everything else. If you would ever like to ride one, let me know. Might be fun. I have a small YouTube channel right now doing travel vlogs. It's youtube.com slash C slash my Kale Miller. But I will be putting up videos of the Ultra 4 car at the King of the Hammers race in February if you want to check it out. It's a little 570 in a McLaren orange. Look at that. That is very cool. I like it. I like that a lot. You know, I always wanted the, uh, you know, with some supercars, you can have like a model car built to the same spec as yours. I always wanted that with mine. Might have to do it someday, but that is very neat. There we go. In my ever-growing collection of toy cars. I hope you guys enjoyed this upload and I hope to see you at Motorama. If you did enjoy, give it a big thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.